Hello my friends and welcome back. Today I have two projects featuring La La Land Craft's September Club Kit called Squeeze the Day. I'm going to be using both stamp sets, the Marcy with Lemons and the Squeeze the Day Little Cute Little Mice. And I'm going to make a shaker and then another project which is kind of like a tri-fold using the large stitched um, tag dies. So I'm going to zoom in, do some coloring, and see you back here once the coloring is finished. Alrighty, so all of the coloring is finished and now we're going to get started paper piecing and the way that I do my paper piecing is I stamp out my image on all the pattern paper that I want to use for the different clothing pieces and then I just fussy cut around each one of them. Try to stay as close to the image as I can. And then once I get that all cut out, I'm going to take that black pen that I have right there, that Artist Loft, it's just one that I picked up at like Michael's. It's um, not expensive at all, but it's a watercolor pen. And the reason why I use watercolor is because alcohol ink will um, wick into the rest of the image. So if you just want it right along the edge and you don't want it to wick into the center of the paper, you want to use a watercolor um, ink. So I go around the whole entire edge of the piece that I cut out. And then I'm going to use some glue that dries clear in case it squishes out the sides. So this is the art glitter glue. And I place it right where I want my piece to go. And then that's it. So now I've finished up all the paper piecing and Marcy is ready to go. And now I'm going to work on the background. So I have this background stamp and it's by La La Land and it's called Shine Bright. I love this thing. It's so adorable. And I'm just going to place this right over my panel. And at first I use that ink right there on the side which I'm not even sure if it has a color to it but it was yellow and I thought it would look cool but it's too bright so I ended up going back over it with some fossilized amber archival ink by Ranger but I'll leave this part in so that you can see how it looks once it's stamped down but I do go back and re-ink it again with the fossilized amber because I like that little bit a little bit darker yellow 
this is pretty bright. It didn't really match my, my card very well. So see now it's much darker and it's, it, it seems to match better. Now I'm going to work with my tag here. This is one of the larger stitched tags. And I'm going to place my panel down. And then I'm just going to start putting my pieces together. So the stitch tag has the sentiment on it. It says, you're my main squeeze. I also cut out three of the lemons that came from the lemonade die and also the leaves, which are separate. And I've colored those in. And I colored them using the Copic markers. And then I have the cup die here, which I cut a couple of a couple of times. So I cut a background piece out of the larger one. And then I cut another the white is out of both pieces together that I taped that I taped on to my piece and then I also did the same thing with some fun foam in order to make a shaker die and then I just trimmed down some acetate to cover now I'm going to place my straw inside my little shaker so it just makes a little shaker cup I also have inside there I I'd already placed the um, ice cubes which also is one of your dies as ice cubes and now I'm just trying to figure out my arrangement where I want my lemons behind my lemonade cup Place Marcy on there and I'm going to take a couple of these little gems jewels actually from my stash and there were some real pretty green ones that I thought would would go pretty with this and so I'm going to place them on kind of different scattered around different places also a yellow one just to give it a little bit of sparkle and I think that is going to complete this card there she is I love that little shaker, it's super cute. Here's a close up of that one. And now we're gonna move on to the trifold or folio style. So again, I'm using the same dies here, the large stitched tag dies, and I've cut it out six times with the pattern paper and three times with just colored cardstock. I also cut out the tabs that go on the top. I've cut out three pocket pieces and those pocket pieces are two by five and then I've cut not cut sorry scored a half an inch around all three sides and that's to make my pockets I've also got a couple of one inch strips over there on the side which I'm just going to score down the middle and that's how I'm going to connect all three of these tags to each other to make the folio so I'm just going to trim that down and then we are going to place them on. I know I sped this way up, but this is just this is just attaching three. If you ever, if you need more info on the folios, I've got um, some other videos where I I go through and I make a lot of I, I love folios. They're so fun to make. But now I'm going to attach my papers to the three different ones. And a little trick here is if you have a die and you want the paper to fit inside but you don't have like a, a, sm a smaller like slightly smaller die you just cut along that perforated edge which is what I did here and then that will give you so that you have just that little bit of color peeking out all the way around and that way if you don't have a center die to cut out the paper and leave you a border you can do it yourself and it's really not hard at all so I've covered up all of my pages, and now I'm just going to create my my pocket here. So half inch on three sides to all of the pieces. And then those little um, pattern papers over there on the front, right there to the side, are actually the papers that are going to go in the middle of each one of these pockets, and I'll show you. So I just cut them slightly smaller than the pocket size. And now I just kind of clean up my edges so that when I fold them back, you don't see, it's just neater. You don't have to do this. I just like the way it looks better. Reinforce my edges here. And then this is where this goes, right in the center. Super easy. This just makes a really cute little gift to send to somebody or to, to give to someone. I just think it's adorable. So I also cut out three of the second to the largest stitch tag dies and put top and put the re hole reinforcers on those and I cut those just out of white paper. And now we're going to place on all three of our pockets on each one and those smaller tags go right inside of each one of the pockets. So now we're going to work on our decorating this. 
So what I wanted to do was I wanted my lemonade, the word, to have um, like a little gradient. So I wanted it to go darker to lighter. So I took my Copic markers and I cut it out and then I just kind of colored it in using the darkest on the bottom, the medium tone in the middle, and the lightest over the whole thing. And then that just kind of gave me that ombre look to each one of my letters that's going to go across the inside. And now I'm going to make the little treats that go in each one of the pockets. So it's just some lemonade and some sugar. And those, and there's also tea. The Arizona is lemon tea. And then I just made these little strips of pattern paper, which go around the tag. And they're only, they're one inch. I think they're one, yeah, they're one inch. And then we just stuff our little lemonade and tea and sugar inside of each one of the little little belly bands that goes around each one of the die, the tags. And now we're just going to start decorating the front. So we've got the Marcy that we cut, that we colored in and we did the paper piecing. And I also cut out the lemonade stand, which I'm going to attach behind Marcy. I think this project came out really, really cute. This is a fun gift idea to give to someone. We're going to place the lemonade stand down. And then Marcy's going to go right in front of it. And I popped her up with some foam tape. I'm also going to decorate with lemons and that sentiment. Without lemons, there would be no lemonade, which is perfect for this. And now I'm just going to place down the little pitcher and some lemons on the side. I also put some lemons around the little sign at the bottom. And now we're going to decorate the inside. So on the inside, I wanted each one of the mice. And then I wanted it to say lemonade across all three once you open it up. So that's what I'm doing now. And I have the cup too, so I stuck the cup back into the word. And once I figured out where all these guys are going to go, I'm going to glue them down. And there it is. I put a couple of ice cubes in the cup. And that will complete this. I also made a little clip to hold it together because once I put all the stuff in it, it got a little chunky, so it didn't want to close all the way. But that little clip holds it together. And I put some matching ribbon on the clip. And then once you open it up, it says lemonade on the inside. And it's got the little tags with the treats in it. And that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you like these projects. I hope you love this kit as much as I do. And I will leave links in the description box below to the club subscription and to Club La La Land Crafts. And I will see you again real soon with another video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, the 15th is the reveal day for the October kit. And I will have that on the 15th. See you again. Bye-bye.